After the last video, many viewers asked me about the details of the Rombic Sterling engine. The test bench is controlled completely wirelessly and since I have to wait for an access point to set up a wireless network in my new workshop shed, I can shorten the waiting time and show you a new video. In the first test run, the engine ran quite rough as the moving masses have become much larger due to the heavier connecting rods and new cast iron pistons. The first step should always be to calculate the counterweight theoretically, but I am too impatient to see the engine running that I just added some heavier counterweights. The steel gears were also quite noisy. So I sprayed them with even thicker adhering grease. Now I can assemble the engine again. Assembling the cranks. Installing the power piston. <laughs> Installing the cooler. The heater head with the regenerator. Close in the crankcase. The ring burner was a lot of nozzles.
pump it up to four bar pressure. After the changes, the gears run a little quieter, but the engine still runs very rough and needs some serious balancing. This is my next task, before I can install the engine in the test bench and carry out meaningful test series.